when I have a dream I try to figure out How to find the words And how to write it down But I can never win I can never lose All I get is antsy Then I get confused So if you want to help me Try to find myself Look inside the book On the bottom of the shelf From here, you have an excellent view of the Monitor and Merrimack Buttes to the northeast. These prominent landforms tower 600 feet above their Navajo sandstone base. They can be seen from many points as you travel along the highway. The Monitor and Merrimack Buttes were named after the Civil War ironclad ships. If you look at a likeness of the old ships, their shapes bear a striking resemblance to these two buttes. Hey there, this is amazing Utah. Moab is about a 20-minute uh, drive that way. And so the plan for today was to go to Arches National Park. I went there yesterday, kind of late in the afternoon, and planned to spend like all day out there. Unfortunately, it is full. Like the park is just not allowing any more cars in for the day. I just like got there too late, I guess. And so instead I'm going to Canyonlands, which is about a, a 20 minute uh, drive out that way. And it still looks just absolutely phenomenal. So I guess out there are the two buttes named after the old ships. Pretty awesome. Love these kinds of landscapes. So I'm going to uh, get back in the car there, keep on cruising, get out to Canyonlands. So I'm inside the park. That is the Island in the Sky Visitor Center. It costs $30 one time to enter the national parks. That is valid for seven days. And that only includes the park that you pay the uh, fee at. But I got the annual pass yesterday at Arches, $80 and unlimited access to all of the uh, federal lands, all national parks, everywhere in the country for one year. Here is Really amazing looking. Schaefer Point. Look at that, just unreal. And you do not want to get anywhere near that edge. It is a long, long ways down there. Look at that road. That is not the road that I drove out. That was out that way. But I guess you can drive out there. Just a little ways down the road and there's another viewpoint here. And I will be putting on better footwear once I start hiking, for real. Crazy. So I've driven about 10 miles into the park. This road ends in about uh, three miles that way, and I'm going to do a hike over there. But I got a glimpse of a epic looking canyon here. Let's go take a look. And so I have my much better Chaco sport sandals on. These are super uh, sturdy and good for hiking, especially in hot weather. And check it out. All right, this is as close as I'm gonna go, but uh, 
that is a freaky drop. And another one of those like ship looking buttes. At world travel, I've been to tons of countries and uh, yeah. hiking and adventure, obviously, and outdoors. And Gabriel Traveler. Gabriel Traveler, yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Iran. Iran, wow. That's you one of the countries there? I really want to go to. Yeah, but I've been here 50 years, so I, see. I haven't been back since. Yeah, one of the reasons I haven't been to Iran yet is because you have to go on a tour group. Americans can't go and travel independent, and so you have to be part of a uh, group. Have you been back since you left? No, I haven't. Since revolution in 1979. Wow, not since then. No. Crazy. Um, but but you can go there. There are, I, I have always wanted to go and climb the mountains. I'm a climber. I see. But I'm getting too old now to go <laughs> do those. So I'm 75. Okay. So they um, there are Iranian guides. Uh huh. If you want to do that. Uh, you can contact them. Like uh, peak climbing of mountains or? Mountains or even traveling, sightseeing. Yeah, exactly. The, the things you're uh, interested in, there are a lot of historical things in there. Yeah, um, very cool. I've heard just such amazing things about uh, Iran. I've seen the other travelers' videos and yeah, they, looks like a really incredible culture. Yeah, unfortunately, they are not in good. Exactly, with the U.S. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully that changes in the future. All right, Gabriel, I'll go check you out. Are you okay with being in my video? I just started filming because I like to, like, especially when I meet someone from other country or whatever. Or... Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so this is Upheaval Dome. How did it get here? Scientists have hypothesized that Upheaval Dome is either the remnant of a meteorite impact or a salt dome uplift. Recent evidence favors the impact hypothesis. Hike a short, steep trail to view this unique geologic feature. And so this is the Overlook hike, looking down at the uh, crater, and then this is a much longer hike there. Don't think I'll do that. You don't get the view, apparently. No crater view. And this is a hour or so hike just to do that, and I'm sure it's going to be spectacular. So uh, let's do it. Things are heating up. Just got the uh, shorts on and the sandals. Excuse me. So the first overlook is just 0.3 miles, second overlook 0.8, so about two miles round trip, and then eight miles for the Syncline Loop Trail, strenuous. But I want to do some more uh, of the shorter hikes and check out more of the viewpoints. There's another end of the road to go to as well, so we'll uh, do the uh, shorter option here. This is going to be intense, it looks like. That was just a 10 minute hike from the uh, parking lot to the first overlook. So the rim trail or ring trail goes somewhere out there and all the way around. I guess that is the other overlook over there.
And this is the Whale Rock. And it reminds me a little bit of Ayers Rock in Australia. Uluru. Maybe a bit smaller, but uh, still, that is a big hunk of rock. There's where I'm parked. There's the parking lot for the uh, volcanic meteorite site. Massive, massive canyon up there. Weird formation there. And that other big canyon that I walked to out there. I first heard about this national park like a few days ago. I had never heard of it, probably it had been kind of mentioned somewhere, but it really wasn't in my uh, awareness that this existed. It's just overshadowed by arches because arches is so much more spectacular. I visited there a couple of times when I was a kid, but uh, Canyonlands is seriously worth a visit. And this is Buck Canyon. What a canyon it is. This is the Grand Viewpoint.